In this demonstration, we're going to show how you can add some interactivity to your Viewlet project. For this example, we're going to create a rollover event. For example, when the viewer rolls their mouse over the football, this image containing the history of American football will display. To do this, we're going to select that image containing all of the text history. Then, we'll click the icon to create a rollover area. We'll go ahead and create our rollover area which will be over the football image. And let's resize this a bit so it fits just a little bit better. Once we have our rollover area set up, then we click the events icon. Now, in our example, we have the ability to go ahead and insert an on-click event, but for this example, we're not going to do that. We're just going to have an on-rollover and on-rollout event. So, Viewlet Builder is very intuitive, and once you set it up like this, it already knows that what's going to happen is when we roll over this area, which is over the image of the football, it will display our selection, which was the image containing the history of American football. However, you're not set to have to do what Viewlet Builder automatically sets up for you. You can have it do whatever you need to. For example, if we wanted to change this, we could go ahead and edit the action, but let's take a look and see what's here. Right now, it will display the object when you roll over the football, and the object is, of course, the history, the image here, and it will keep it until the end of the slide. So let's go ahead and click that. We'll keep that set up. And then for the on rollout event, it's going to hide that same image. And again, you can dig into it to see what's going on, change up the action, whatever you need to do. And you're also not limited to just having one action. You can have a progression of actions and so on. You can make this event as simple or as intricate as you want. We're going to go ahead and keep it simple and click OK. And then let's save our file. And then let's see how this works in a browser. So we'll go Project, Preview in Browser. And here we see it set up the history of football. And as we roll our mouse over, the history is displayed. And as we roll our mouse off, the history disappears. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions on this particular topic or any others while working with Carbon products and services, please visit us online at www.carbon.com. And thanks for stopping by.